When people refer to the late Princess Diana and Charles, they typically mean her ex-husband, the Prince of Wales. There was, however, another important Charles in her life, her younger brother, Charles Edward Maurice Spencer, now the ninth Earl of Spencer, via Pantheon. Spencer, who was styled as Viscount Althorp between 1975 and 1992, is a prominent figure in his own right. He is a British peer, best-selling author, journalist, and broadcaster with a large public presence, boasting over 4 million page views on Wikipedia alone. Earl Spencer has also pursued charity work in the family tradition, spending four years in South Africa supporting various causes, via London Speaker Bureau. He's loyal to his original family unit, as well as to the large family of his own, which includes his seven children. But there is more to the Earl of Spencer than a simple biography. Representing a British family with centuries of history, Spencer has led significant roles in famous events of our time, in addition to crafting a legacy for generations to come. To understand more about the Earl of Spencer, we must first visit the family's history prior to the marriage of Prince Charles and Princess Diana, when the Spencers were first thrust into the spotlight. The Spencer family has been prominent in British royal society since the 15th and 16th centuries, via Oprah Daly. The Spencer family was frequently included in royal society circles and eventually established a close relationship with the Queen. Charles Spencer was born to Viscount and Viscountess Althorp John and Francis Spencer in 1964, per Imp. John would later become the eighth Earl of Spencer, and together he and Francis had five children in total, including Charles's older sisters Lady Sarah and Lady Jane, as well as Princess Diana. The Viscount and Viscountess also had a son John, who died shortly after birth, via pop sugar. When Charles was two years old, his parents divorced, creating a messy custody battle. When speaking of his family life, Charles said, Our father was a quiet and constant source of love, but our mother was cut out for maternity. Not her fault, she couldn't do it. She was in love with someone else, infatuated, really, via the Sunday Times. Upon the death of the children's grandfather, the children would be introduced to the Althorpe mansion. The children rarely visited the big house as a family, when the old Earl was alive. Growing up they knew nothing about their heritage, author Tina Brown writes in the Diana Chronicles, V.O. Daily. At this time, Lady Diana was 14 years old and would meet a prince named Charles about two years later, via Insider, propelling her family into the spotlight.